How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing my top 10 unique rares for the Dragon Ball Super card game. These cards won't be ranked by their playability, just by the characters and the art of them, so make sure you guys keep that in mind as we go through. Before we jump into the video, make sure you guys hit it with a like if you guys enjoy, subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss any sort of content from me in the future, and drop a comment down below Let me know your guys' favorite unique rare in the Dragon Ball Super card game. I love to hear your guys' opinions on the matter, maybe one of your cards, or maybe one of your favorite cards is on this list, I'd love to know. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into this top 10 list. Alright, so kicking our list off, we have Frieza's Death Ball. This is part of the iconic attack rares, and honestly, they all look super cool, but I feel like Frieza's Death Ball is the one that stuck out the most to me. I just love that the Death Ball is in the picture itself. You got the gold stamp energy coming off of it. You got the outer space background with like the rocks and the debris. His like, really dramatic expression with his like pose and everything like that all really comes together really well. I love the way this card looks, but I think I covered everything about this card I want to touch, uh, touch base on, so let's go ahead and move on to our next one. Next up is Purunga Giant Force. This is part of the Giant Force rares, and honestly, you know, there's a couple of them I think are pretty cool, but really the Purunga one is the one that stuck out the most to me. I feel like Purunga doesn't really get a lot of cards in the um, Dragon Ball Super card game. Yeah, I know he has another one where he's like, okay, but I feel like this one uh, is probably the best Giant Force rare out of all of them. I'm not picking like, you know, one for each rarity, so just keep that in mind. I just feel like this is the coolest one in my opinion. I just feel like, you know, he's just bursting out of the Dragon Ball, so like just from being summoned, you got his like big hand coming at you and everything like that, plus the aura and energy coming off of him looks really cool. Like the energy and like the gold stamp at the bottom looks really badass, honestly. I like, you can obviously tell, it looks like they're on Planet Namek, obviously, but really like this card. I think I said enough about this one, so let's move on to our next one. All right, up next are Beerus and Whis. This is part of the Destroyer and Angel rares, which honestly looks super dope in my opinion. There is one for each god um, of the 12 universes, and behind each of them is their planet, or I'm sorry, not their planet, but their universe inside of like a big sphere ball. And like, if you guys seen the anime, whenever they show off all the universes and they're all in like a pearl necklace kind of like circle rotation, they're all like colored differently. That's how all these cards look, and if you line them all up, if you line them all up next to each other, they all like go together, and it looks so cool. Honestly, I'm gonna have to pick up all 12 of these so I can just line them all up and have them look like displayed out like that. I think that would look so badass. But honestly, I had to go with Beerus and Weez for my choice of like the Destroyer and the Angel because those are my boys. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to our next card. All right, so up next is Uneasy Alliance Son Goku. This is part of the Duo Power Rares, and honestly, you could really put any of these cards um, on this slot for my list, just because I love all of them. They all look really cool. There's a Bardock one that goes with Goku, and I actually own that one. I honestly thought about putting this one here instead because I just love the art style of it, but I'll throw up a quick screenshot with Goku and Frieza to make the combined cards because I love cards that link together and make a whole picture like this. I'm a huge sucker for them. I feel like the Goku one, uh, just stuck out just a little bit more, just a itty bitty bitty, just a little bit more for me just because I love the, like, I don't know what you want to call that, like the clouds or like the energy clouds that's like around both of them. It looks really cool. Obviously, Goku and Frieza are probably the two most iconic uh, villain and hero characters, probably in all of anime. So that's part of the reason why I chose them over everybody else. But really, you could put any of these duo power rares on this slot and I'd be happy with it. But I said enough about these two, let's go ahead and move on to our next card. All right, coming in next is our Destruction Rare with our Janemba, Agent of Destruction. Honestly, you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while now, I am a huge Janemba fan. I love the way this card looks, you know, who doesn't love Majin Vegeta, and he was honestly one of the candidates that were going to be on right here, but obviously Janemba won because I'm biased towards Janemba, but really, most of the Destruction Rares are pretty badass, so honestly, you could go with any of them. Uh, I do love that they have, like, the Majin symbol right there on their heads. I love that Bobbity's, like, in the background, too, like, pa 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 like, <laughs> you know, like, just... You know, he's showing you what's up. He's like, look who I can control. I'm super powerful and stuff. But love the, like, foil version, like, of, like, 
what's going on with Janemba, that dark energy that's coming off. I'm pretty sure it's like gold stampish. I don't own the card, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going off the pictures I've seen. But love the like the attacks that are in his hand too. Just love overall. The whole card looks badass. Uh, the destruction rares are pretty cool. You know, they feature some uh, mostly movie villains besides Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. But you know, I think I've said enough about this card. I think I covered everything I really wanted to say about it. But let's go ahead and move on to our next card. All right, so up next is Beerus Destructive Villain. This is part of the ignoble villain rares and honestly all of these are really badass I think they really like really capture a lot of good moments from a lot of good characters But I didn't even know this villain um, Like Beerus was a thing until I was researching for this video and honestly it just became one of my new favorite Beerus cards I really like the dynamic expression on his face like he's just sitting there doing like a little finger point beam with like the gold stamp like pulses coming off of it his attack is like hitting like the top of his card where his name is at. Like the background looks all cool with it like shattering and stuff like that. I can't tell if he's in outer space or where he is, but still it looks cool. Like it makes him kind of pop because like the light, like the lighting on his face looks really badass. But I've covered everything on this card. Let's go ahead and move on to our next one. Alright, so up next is Hero Strike. This is part of the Noble Hero Rares. And honestly, I wasn't going to mention this on our last mention with Beerus because uh, these cards actually go together. They link together. And as you guys know, I'm a huge sucker for link cards. I'll go up and throw up a screenshot of uh, the one that goes with Hero Strike because there are ones that match together. And honestly, I love these cards. Honestly, the ones I'm featuring with Hero Strike and Hatchiak are probably my two favorite. I was going to put Hatchiak uh, instead of Beerus, but I just, you know, I just like the Beerus one more. You what? Because I just feel like he just, I don't know, it just had more personality for me. But anyway, I love this card. I'm a huge fan of cameo cards as well. If you guys don't know what I mean by cameo, I mean like, um, you know, like if it says Hero Strike or if it said Sun Goku and there was more characters on the card besides Goku, then that would be make them cameo characters. But anyway, I love this card because it has like the whole Z Fighter gang or at least most of them. It has all the Saiyans and then Piccolo, which looks really badass in my opinion. I love all the energy. And then obviously like if you guys can still see the hatchback and them clashing like I love how they have that like the clashing of the cards with like inside of the cards and shit like dude that's so badass I love that so much. These are really cool cards I'm probably gonna have to pick these up but I've covered everything I wanted to say about them for the video so let's go ahead and move on to our next card. Alright so up next is Super Saiyan 3 Trunks Saiyan Harmonizer. And this is part of the infinite saiyan rares and oh my god where do i even begin on this card this card looks so badass in my opinion like his pose and his expression on his face looks so serious like whoever he's about to go up against in that form he's about to wreck some shit i tell you that much like i love that he's in his capsule corp outfit he's got a uh, sword on his back he looks so cool in super saiyan 3 like oh my god like that that shot of him looks so good not to mention that like black and like blue like lightning energy coming off of him like oh dude <laughs> that looks so good and like his background with like the yellow and blue like mostly yellow behind him to show off like the same energy but then like the blue as well with like the shattered grass like shattered grass <laughs> shattered glass look like oh my god dude this this card is amazing i actually just bought two of them for like under like five bucks like Really excited. I hope one of them shows up in really good condition so I can send them off to PSA. But oh my god. I've covered everything about this card. I'm going to keep rambling on about it. But let's go ahead and move on to our next card. Alright, so up next is Sun Goku Saiyan Transcendence. This is also part of the Infinite Saiyan Rares. And honestly, you could really... Man, picking between Goku and Trunks for these two slots was so hard. <laughs> like you guys have no idea. I had I honestly just flipped a coin because I, I couldn't decide. But honestly, uh, Goku looks so badass. Like I honestly own this card already. It was given to me by my buddy Matches Peaches. And honestly, this is one of my favorite cards that I own. I'm actually gonna send it off to get graded here soon. But dude, like the shattered grass, uh so funny right the shattered glass um background that he has going on behind him looks super badass the yellow and black going on plus like dude that outfit that he's in looks so good and he has like his power pole and everything dude like 
Oh my god, these cards look so amazing, honestly. You could pick either one of these two between trunks and I would be happy with whichever who was where words. But yeah, um, before we move on to our number one pick, let's go ahead and talk about some honorable mentions. All right, so our honorable mentions are gonna be a little bit different this time. I was gonna name off a, cute, a few couple of cards that I you know, was very fond of, but really I changed my mind halfway through and decided that I should just list off all the other cards that weren't featured in this list just because I had to be real nitpicky with the list when it came to these cards just because I think they're all super cool, but really just boil down to characters you know the art style and just stuff like that of you know the cards but really they're all super amazing you guys should really go check out the rest of them I got some of them behind me that I found were more favorable in my opinion but there's still a couple of them that I didn't mention but with all these honorable mentions out of the way let's go ahead and move on to our number one pick alright so my number one pick for our unique rares are the signature cards now I know, uh, you know, I'm picking all eight of them for my number one pick, but you guys can understand you, there's no way I could possibly just pick one of these. I know I have them all cycling behind me in the background. I'm gonna let them, you know, go for a minute. Then I'm gonna show you guys like a little clip of um, the ones that I own, just kind of show off a little bit more detail because I feel like the screenshots don't give it enough justice. These are honestly some of the holy grails in my opinion for the Dragon Ball Super card game. There's only eight of these, and honestly, I plan on owning all of these one day. It's just, they're so expensive, so it's just going to take some time for me to get all of them. But really, like, these cards are so badass. Like, you guys will see, you know, like, the little video of it of whenever I show off the Frieza one. But, man, they are so cool. Like, the glittery background that they have, like, the fully outlined like silhouette around Frieza and them. Now the only difference I noticed while I was recording these little clips for you guys for the video that the first four Beerus, Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza are the only ones that have like outlined like silhouettes and stuff like that and the super glittery backgrounds but Gohan, Trunks, Vegito, and Hit um, don't. Uh, which you know it's a little bit disappointing I realize but I mean they're still badass they all feature the English voice actor's signature on them which is Super dope in my opinion. These are honestly probably going to always be sought after and expensive and just, you know, up there as far as like super top tier Dragon Ball cards. I'm pretty sure that they're all really good playable wise and I'm, you know, obviously collectors obviously want them like myself. But really, I could ramble on about these cards forever. I think they're all super badass. If you guys could just pick one of them, which one would you guys go with? If I had to personally pick myself, like if I was forced to just pick one, I'd either have to go with Goku or Vegito. It'd have to be one of those two. I honestly, probably Goku, honestly, just because I love that silver background behind him. It looks so badass. And plus, you got the iconic Sean Schemmel uh, signature on it. So, really, super top tier cards. I love all these. These are actually, I should also mention that um, the first four Beerus, Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza are all technically considered SPRs. And the other four are considered signature SPRs. Um, I didn't care about that because while I was researching or while I was making my SPR top 10 video I realized this and I was like oh let's just make a whole separate video for these instead but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and nonetheless I think I rambled on enough about how badass these cards are I'm sure you guys got a good feed of you know everything going on behind me and stuff like that but I think you know I'm gonna wrap this video up Hopefully you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. I'm you know, glad you guys are enjoying these top 10 videos. If you guys want to support the channel, hit the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, drop some comments down below. Love to hear from you guys. You know, That's why I like doing this. It's for the community. But with all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will catch you guys in the next one.